Hello there, I'm Hill. Welcome back to Victoria 2, playing, of course, as the French Empire. It is 1889, and I've done some cheating in between. So, um, basically, the event that was firing that allowed me to annex Siam and do a full conquest of them has not been firing. I was not able to fake the CP. I wasn't able to do anything. So, instead, I just opted to just cheat and just give me the provinces. It's not a gigantic deal. My population only been up by about half a million. It's not, like, a huge deal. It's a little frustrating, to be honest, that I had to cheat. I don't really like cheating in that way. But there wasn't really a lot I could do because the event is supposed to give me those... Basically, it gives me a war of them, which I would 100% win, but then I can't do anything with it. So I have cheated that, but the event is broken. So that's why I've done it. I'm okay with I'm okay with cheating to fix events. Now we're going to organize Len Zeng for autonomous rule. There you go. And there we are. So it's a pretty nice. It's not really that much control. It's basically just grain. Um, it does give me a little bit of opium, which is pretty good. It might make me a bit rich, though. How much opium do we make now? Where is opium? Opium, 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 opium. Where is my opium? Alright, I'm 50% of opium. That's not that bad. Okay. Fully funded healthcare, a population of growth 0 0.01. And fully funded healthcare, population growth 0 0.02. Nice. Okay, and now we can get Mexico into our sphere a little bit better. Now, we are once again... go. I forgot to build ironclads. Son of a bitch. I hate myself. I hate myself. Good. Kind of wasted my potential. I was meant to build a bunch of ironclads. The Bloody Strike. A strike in one of our states initiated by communist troublemakers revolutionaries was simply put down by local police. It's got a massive backlash. Local farmers... Oh, dear. Uh-oh. They become more conservative. Love the end. Hmm. Massive backlash against- Oh no, it's good! Um, there's massive backlash against the socialist movement in the state as local farmers and peasants perceive the red ideology as being vehemently opposed to traditions and histories of civilization in general and the French Empire, more importantly. So, no thank you. Very much I prefer that. And 25% Roger Europe throughput. Alright. Ah, oh, shut up, man. What else? What am I supposed to do? It's, it's supposed to give it to me anyway. France is strong, man. What, what do you want me to say? Okay. All the tea in the French Empire. The tea harvest is usually large this year, and nowhere larger than Quinon. Everyone ventures in the area. Sacks and sacks stand against stand lined up, brimming with freshly picked leaves of wonderfully smelling tea. Mm. The harvest will probably sell us straight for years. And we're capable of leveraging it right. Should we let the farmers keep an extra portion? The merchants sell a profit, or should we stockpile it? Our merchants need the tea. No. The farmers keep some. Yeah. No, monitors are not better. No, they, um, it is better to have ironclads. They are uh, monitors have a three point six per supply point uh, value for colonial points, whereas ironclads give you four. The Austro-Hungarian Austro Confederation has gone bankrupt. What is happening to Austro-Hungary right now? What? They better pay their debts. Issue an official declaration for giving their debts. Oh shit. Ah, oh, why well, I went to add in the sphere? Well, I wasn't able to add in the sphere. But what are all these wars? It's the second Italian liberation of Lombardy, to acquire Lombardy, and the Romanian liberation of Benet. Jesus. Ah, oh, it's not really worth it to add that, is it? I don't know why. It said I got that secondary thing. It said I was able to add them. Kind of frustrating. Well, I can't really afford to go to war just to get my debts back. Okay. Combat stats be damn, man. I just need I just need the um alls I want this for. Ooh, the wine going rubber. Alls I want this for is for the colonial power. I want it for nothing else. Literally nothing. Oh explodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not have enough colonial points already. I need millions. And screw ironclads. I want to get battleships. That's what I want. Sympathy strike. No. Stop that. Alright, now is the time, I think. You start building more artillery. We're gonna bring a massive Alexandrian artillery. Cairo artillery. Dumret. And Boji. Yeah, I'm just gonna start recruiting a pile of soldiers. Just everywhere, man. Not a lot going in Europe, though. 
I just want a lot of artillery, basically, because uh, I'm going to need them. Now let's get some Hussars. Not in Indochina. I would prefer in Europe, please. You just try to stop speaking of capitals, yeah? Alright. Malmo? No, not Malmo. I don't want to transport them over. Boulogne. Jeanne and Frius. There we go. Perfecto Mundo. And also a couple engineers. Not many. I'll do one in there. Good. You do not need only 600. I want more. I want to colonize the crap out of this place, man. The commodity boom in Southeast Asia. Uh, it's not there, but all right. The great expansion uh, that the world economy underwent in the last few decades allowed French landowners to find attractive opportunities in international markets. Little by little, the U.S. became the most important consumer of coffee in the world, with Germany and France became the most important markets in Europe. Tobacco and tea consumption is an all-time high, and the great powers are always seeking new partners to buy these goods. The current situation is suspicious for encouraging and expanding the production of certain commodities. Okay. And basically a pile change to coffee and tobacco. In Bangkok. Okay. Oh, yeah, it just changes it from this crap, so yeah, I'm fine with that. Boom. So much coffee! Yeah. Okay. And now we wait for Dark Continent, which has 40%. Tractors, where automobiles have started to gain popularity in the roads, did not take long for more than innovative engineers to find a way to replace replacing horses in the field. Early experiments with steam-powered farm machinery had failed, but lighter combustion engines revolutionized farm work. The first pioneers, Case Ford and Deere, would have been thrilled to see tractors with their names stamped to the Metro Century of the first prototypes. Okay, so let's take a look at what they actually give me. Okay, that doesn't really give me much, but... 4% for airplanes, 4% for that. And 40% for Dark Continent, so any day now, I'm going to have them. Mysterious of lands of Guatemala. Well, the Panama Canal was planned. Several, ex what? Several expeditions were sent to the regions of Central America. The inhabitants. Large okay, sure. Not really anything I can do about that, but okay. Oh, no, there is actually. If I go... Is it Guatemala? If I get something in Guatemala... Oh, create Malaysia. A unified federation of Malay peoples for a stronger ally for our nation. I don't have that. Establish the Johor Protective. Ooh, be fun. Integrate French Guinea. Yes. So, Sayeshe. Hello? Unfortunately, I can't help you. God damn it, the Ottomans. What have you done? Don't be at war of Italy. What are you doing? What is this? The Libyan War. Libya acquires all states with core provinces. Oh. I've got to fight Italy now. All right, let's go. All right, dick. Let's freaking do this. I'm going to take you down goddamn town, my friend. Really wish I'd kept forces in the south. Let's go. Fight them, boys. Fight them good. Right, let's go. Um, it would make sense to try to move a little bit forward, wouldn't it? While we can. Yeah, let's go. All right. Now, we are talking. Okay. 
I think they're probably going to need the defenses here. That's okay. We have the soldiers. Steel steamers has been researched. Beautiful. 8% chance of getting pre-dreadnoughts. 7% chance of cruisers. I love it. Alright, anything else we could be grabbing? Military plans, military logistics. The gas attack capability, we do want to work towards that soon. Uh, there's a lot of goods here, though, we could get. I think getting military plans is going to be better, though. Mobilization spot, it's just, it's just, it's just a lot of things we could get. There you go. Oh, they coming. They coming. Here it comes. Alright. Boom. Boom. They get a minus five. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm killing tens of thousands of them. The Ottomans have landed. Oh wow. Ironclads are everywhere. We've <laughs> Oh my god, we killed 60,000 Italians. Oh Jesus, that was a lot. That's a lot of dudes. How many how many troops do they actually have? They don't have a lot now. I killed them all. I think that might have been their entire army. Jesus. Yep, they have nothing. Okay. Okily, dokily. Well, I guess we just rampage through Italy because I've wiped out their entire goddamn army. What the fuck? Italy, please. What are you doing? Oh, we've slaughtered them. This is sad. This is, this is, well, it's wonderful, actually. All right, let's just keep going, keep sieging. Spread the love, guys, spread the love. Okay. Let's get the Hussars over here. All right, looks like they've uh, they've started mobilizing again. Probably not going to go super well for them. Not going to lie. Oh man, they're getting wrecked. Sweden, apparently, I'm influencing. Interesting. Well, I'll just have them to. <laughs> I've got Sweden in my sphere. And I've previously conquered them. Oh, this is sad. How much, boys? Wait, is the capital in Ancona? Oh no, it's a different country. It's San Marino. Okay. Right. Keep it coming, boys. I didn't even look at the war score I got. Brazil. The North German Federation took in a massive state. That's one state? Oh my god, there's like a million people here. Shit. North German Federation is big. Fine. I'm not concerned. Didn't even have to mobilize. Christ. That is sad. They didn't even have to mobilize. Sorry, I didn't even have to mobilize, rather. I just destroyed them. Like, that was it. What's your plans? I suppose we could get things like phenomenalism for re regular experience. Like, there. I guess the country is pretty... Well, that's pretty big, man. That's like a million pop. So, already, they could accept the offer. Or... 
Or I could add all core provinces from the Kingdom of Italy. Which is Aosta. Hello. Oh look, I can build the Titanic. That's cool. Okay, this is crazy. All right, well, first of all, yes, acquire cores. Do -do 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 -do. Don't mind me. Just gonna obliterate your country. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, this is tragic. This is really tragic. Okay, so next up. Oh, I already got that. That's fine. So we could add another war goal. We could. We could acquire a state, which we cannot. I would love to, but we can't. Could make them release the Congo Free State. That actually would not be a terrible idea. That's actually a really good idea. We're going to make them release the Congo Free State. Let's do this. So we're going to destroy Italy now. Add War Goal. Release Puppet the Congo Free State. This is tragic. And there are cruisers. And there's Persia. Hemisphere. Alright, so let's think about cruisers. <gasps> I haven't been building naval ports! Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Well, I don't have the right tech. I'm an idiot. I forgot to build the next tech. Oof indeed, my friend. Oof indeed. So, all cores from King Lady Congo Free State is released. Whoa! What? I'm sorry? Did I just take the entire state? I just took the entire state. Why did that let me take the entire state of northern western Italy? I've just taken the entire state of Piedmont. The entire state. It's cuz I is it cuz I had a claim I had the core in Eosta, so it meant that I had I had to have all of it? <sighs> I just conquered all of northwestern Italy. My population just increased by like a million. Nope, it's the most populous state in my empire. Are you actually serious? Very illiterate, but most populous state in my empire. And it's filled with silk. What is this? What are these shit factories? What are you doing? Oh my god, what is this? AI literally just cannot deal with anything, can it? Dude, we make silk! Let's go! Wait, what uses silk? Is it luxury clothes? Yes. Oh, let's do some clothes! What is happening? Yeah, you bet I'm going to keep all of it. Jesus. And a textile mill as well. Holy shit. Oh my god, we have... 101,000 unemployed craftsmen. We can make a state and eat the sword. It's now a state. That is wonderful. And look at all the things that we can do. Rename Savoy to use French names. Thank you. Claim Monaco. As we have recently reclaimed the Elster Valley from the Italians under Monaco under Rick Rule. That's fine. There's Monaco. 
Casino de Monte Carlo. The day of opening a gambling casino in Monaco belongs to Princess Caroline, a shrewd business-minded spouse of Prince Franz the I. Revenues for the proposed venture were supposed to save the House of Grimaldi from bankruptcy. The ruling family's persistent financial problems became especially acute, acute after loss of tax revenue from two breakaway towns, Menton and Robrecun, which declared independence from Monaco in 1848 and refused to pay taxes in olive oil and fruit imposed by thingamajiggies. In the case, thank you for the fire. Hello, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Um... Okay. In 1854, Charles Florence, the son of future prince of Monaco, created a team of Frenchmen, writer Albert Ulbot, and Frenchman Napoleon, Napoleon Langlois, who has a development plan to write prospectus to attract 4 million francs to build a spa for the treatment of various diseases, a gambling casino modeled from the Bad Homburg casino, and of English style villas. Change goods in Monaco to precious goods. Nice. Integrate French Guyana. I don't even know what that is. French Guiana. Well, now it's integrated, I suppose. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on the video. Let me think the series so far. I was out to continue to be in. This has been Victoria 2 playing as the French Empire. We have done some insane things. Holy crap. Bye bye.